Hey guys, welcome to another Infinity Battle Report. This time we're going to do Neo Terra Capitoline Army against JSA. This will be the last game of the faction swap for the month of August. As you guys know, if you've watched my other videos, swapping my army with uh, the Admiral JCJF. So he's playing my Imperial Service, I'm playing the Neo Terra Capitoline Army for the last game. Then we're getting our armies back back to normal. Next month going to be posting some uh, combined army stuff and even some Aleph. We've got some Aleph coming to the table. So let's get this last game out of the way. Um, the first photo will be of, if I recall correctly, um, just a hidden deployment model. This is a Swiss Guard with HMG going up the side. Uh, we're going to be playing the tactical window mission which I created myself. Just have a little look through my video history. You'll see uh, a video dedicated to tactical window. It's a custom scenario created by myself with some uh, little variations on the ITS rules. So, uh, let's see if we can find a picture of the uh, deployment zone. Alright, so my opponent has chosen a table side, I'm going first, and we're having a look at the scenario as follows. So, this is from my left hand side of the deployment. Um, I'm going to be going after this objective here, and the one over this side, and I get two points for each objective. There's also uh, the same quadrants as quadrant control. In my second and third turn, I can get one point from scoring, uh, and in my opponent's first and second turn, I can get one point for scoring. So you can get one point per player turn for having more quadrants controlled, uh, but not the first and last turns of the game. So uh, my list is as follows. I've got the two CSUs here. Um, this guy here has rolled up NWI, which is quite a nice one, whereas this one has got like regeneration or something like that. There's a Hexa Killer Hacker here, ready to go forward to the objective and press the button there. Um, you've got the Fugazi Flash Pulse here, another one over here. The Link Team, you've got, uh, I think there's a Ford Observer, plus uh, a couple of plebs here. The Lieutenant, also a normal pleb, and the Missile Launcher there. Um, and that's that side of the deployment zone. And if you look at the other side, we can point out um, a Swiss Guard missile launcher overlooking the long longer lanes with a trauma dock to help him if he dies. Another flash ball spot. The auxiliary team, who is a fort observing team. This card here is my classified card. It is, um, I think, fort observe the HVT. And then, of course, you've already seen where the other models are. So we'll, we'll go on to the, the next photos. My opponent, uh, he is looking from the right-hand side of his deployment zone. He's going to be going for this objective here and this objective over here, if I move my camera. Um, he's put Shinobu in a marker state right here, and he's had to deploy her as a marker because the Kempaitai is actually not a chain of command Kempaitai. She's an actual lieutenant, and that's a little bit dangerous, but he saved some points. His HVT is next to her. Um, got Yojimbo here with his two crazy koalas with um, a sensor bot next to it. Uh, Kaisotsu Hacker over here, uh, and a Ruishi hiding up behind the, uh, the billboard. Uh, the other side of his deployment zone, we've got the Kaisotsu link, link team. So you've got the missile launcher, uh, the Kempai Tai. We've got three normal pre plebs. I think one of them's a specialist. Uh, there's also, uh, we already saw the Rishi, Aragoto Spitfire on the other side. And I think there's one, one more model. Oh yeah, so he's also got a total reaction bot with HMG hanging out on the far left-hand side. So that's what it's looking like. Of course he's deployed Saito Togan, and of course he's deployed a ninja in hidden deployment. Anyway, first turn, moving out the uh, Hexa onto the objective, prone to avoid the fire of the, the missile launcher of Kaisotsu, and successfully pressing the button. Um, on the other side of the table, though, hidden deployment moving out, you can see the Swiss Guard in the distance, shooting his bullets over here, there's um, this, you can see the very side of the, the base of the Aragota is exposed to the line of fire, shoots him and kills him. Um, the, the TR bot, though, can't see the Swiss Guard because there is actually some boxes in the way, um, obviously the photos didn't show up, but the line of sight uh, is actually blocked for that. Moving on though, Swiss Guard continues to move around the field, is able to avoid the TR box. I don't want to engage that just yet. And what this allows me to do is to actually uh, shoot at his sensor bot in the distance and Yojimbo, who is exposed uh, by some not so great deployment. But unluckily, Yojimbo throws the smoke, beats the Swiss Guard in a shootout, which was not expected, but he rolled well. And uh, nothing is killed there. So all I've managed to do is destroy one 
um, one bike, which was really, really annoying, actually, very unlucky. So what, what happened there is the Swiss guard goes up the building, in fact, I'll switch back to the other photo so you can see the staircase. So what he does is he, is he pulls backwards and goes up the staircase, and other photos will show you in a bit more detail what that looks like, but anyway, he does come right around here and gets to a point where he can draw a line of sight to the Rishi, which is uh, hanging out behind those boxes at the back, and shoot at the Rishi before um, you know, dropping prone. Didn't have enough orders to go back into Tio Camo, unfortunately. I would have liked to, but I had to spend so many orders moving around, given that, you know, my plan A was kind of thwarted there. So, a bit unlucky. Anyway, you can see from his perspective where the Rouge is, and you can see the uh, Swiss Guard up here. Uh, Swiss Guard does manage to destroy the Rouge, and luckily, if he does want to move anything over to repair it, uh, Mr. Launcher uh, from my deployment zone is blocking the right path. Although he didn't actually take a, an engineer by the end of it. Um, there was a model I thought was an engineer, but it actually turned out to, to be a Kaisotsu hacker. Um, with some of my remaining orders, we're moving the auxiliary team up here and just camping out in front of this other objective just to make it harder for him to go after that later in the game. And note that I've got a CSU with NWI rolled up, no less, hanging out on top of the crate because he can actually get line of, line of sight along this path here. But also there's an angle towards his deployment zone, which Yojimbo is going to advance along. So that's why I've decided to be irritating there with my uh, my CSU. So that's what happens. Uh, Yojimbo rolls out. The CSU takes a shot at one of the koalas as it moves past, misses. So Yojimbo is able to continue past here and uh, get into a better position. Uh, elsewhere, you can sort of see um, he's moving out his silhouette token here. This is actually a Tio Camo marker, just trying to figure out where he can get to with, uh, without being seen by the Swiss missile launcher. This is just a test at this point. But what happens is the marker actually just moves carefully around the corner, comes behind this red box, and it turns out to be Saito Tagan, and he's throwing a smoke grenade to this location here to block off this general area because his plan is to go after the Swiss guard, which is exposed, but he can't really go after the Swiss guard if the arrows are blocking him. So this is the preliminary play. Once he's done this though, and he does successfully move Saito out here and plant the smoke um, in this location you can see there, once that's successfully done, he's now able to actually move his ninja, which was in hidden deployment just on the staircase at the bottom there. He decided not to reveal and go for the engage against the Swiss guard as he was walking up the stairway because he knew that he'd just probably just get shot. But now that the Swiss guard has been revealed, the ninja can carefully move up the um, up the building, stay prone, it takes him a lot of orders to do this, but eventually he's able to clear the smoke and go into close combat with the Swiss guard. And again, I would have loved to have been in Tio Camo, but I just ran out of orders. I thought I was going to be able to shoot Yojimbo and move in a different direction, but hey, didn't eventuate. Also took me two orders to kill Arishi when I should have really, you know, statistically only needed one. But anyway, um, the Swiss guard uh, survives for at least one round of combat, unbelievably, and uh, does get taken down. Elsewhere, Yujimbo dismounts from his bike just to make it a little bit easier on himself with impetuous moves later. And then, uh, you've got a situation here where um, he's moved up one of his robots closer to this objective. This is a TR bot just to help defend. Um, and Saito is just moving back into Tio Camo, I believe, in this location here. So that, um, I think, wraps up his turn. So on my turn, what I'm trying to do here is I've got orders in group 2 for the auxiliary bot, like five of them. So the auxiliary is able to come up here and engage the ninja. Now, it should be really easy to discover him because I've got two discover attempts for the auxiliary and the walk spot, and if, even if those two fail, I can intuitive attack flamethrower. So uh, we're moving up the stairway and it gives us a couple of orders to do this. Um, I know there's an unconscious marker next to the ninja, but he's definitely not unconscious conscious for this order. This is just really uh, there for the sake of, I think, the orc spot, which dies at this point. But after like two or three orders spent here, the ninja ends up not dying, which I found really irritating. So again, a little bit more, more bad luck. So the ninja successfully rolls high enough to engage, it avoids the flamethrower, and avoids all of the bullets from the auxiliar's gun. And then I have to fire into close combat, which turns out to be annoying because I'm on like twos to hit or something silly, and um, results in me not even killing the ninja, which is irritating. So plan B is to do coordinated orders with the dock and the Swiss guard. So the dock is able to come in here and try and shoot at the ninja, and the Swiss guard coming up here next to the building. Probably should have just sent the Swiss guard after the ninja, all things considered, but I wanted a chance to get through the ninja and uh, revive the Swiss guard HMG if possible. So the dock does kill the ninja, fortunately. Although combi rifle at point blank, um, chances are pretty good. I think she's hitting on something like nines against the ninjas engage. So that worked, uh, and then um, goes over to revive the Swiss guard, but I've run out of com co co command tokens, I've been 
coordinating too much to get up there and the Swiss guard is just removed so again a little bit unlucky only a 60% chance to pull that off but hey um, game not going too well with the dice that's alright we've got a missile launcher here though which is able to uh, brutalize the TR bot so it destroys the TR bot but uh, separately there's um, actually a Kaisotsu which we run into once we come to this exact location the Kaisotsu has a forward observing uh, ability there so the the Swiss guard trying to put it down but again can't even beat the Kaisotsu uh, in link team in a face-to-face -face role and the uh, missile launcher doesn't even get the kill there on on this this guy because he's got a little bit of angle just barely across there so again uh, finding it really hard to achieve anything this game but we're still in it so this is the end position I'm also able to put the auxilia into um, uh, because it's still alive, just ran out of orders into suppression fire later on, but at least the auxilia uh, is actually taking up space in the zone, and I'm camping this zone as well, so at least I get a point for the quadrant side of the mission. Okay, so uh, he actually decides to restrain Yojimbo, because if Yojimbo moves around here, what's going to happen is my missile launcher and my fusilier team is going to lob a missile onto the uh, koala, and that's going to clip Yojimbo with a template, so he restrains that um, wisely, I must add. Yojimbo though, sorry not Yojimbo, uh, what's, what's she called? Uh, Shinobu is able to I think throw some smoke out here, enabling him to try and go after the objective I think is what happens this turn, I can't quite remember, or at least shoot a combi rifle at the CSU not causing any damage, uh, and a Saito now able to move around and go after the uh, Swiss guard, so Saito throws a smoke template here, it's able to cover off this whole area allowing him to move into combat with a Swiss guard, and now that one as well because again uh, face to face rolls going so badly didn't have enough orders to go back into Tio Camo and Saito does come over and after a couple of orders does manage to take him down still have the trauma doc so potentially she could come over and um, waste a whole bunch of order more orders killing my own guy but that's life um, so back to my turn because that's all he could really do the Hexa now moving um, across the objective going to Tio Camo mark estate so I can avoid his Kaisotsu which has got a line of fire down here so the Hexa is able to plant himself there, able to um, help block off the avenue towards my deployment zone and also cover his objective which he still hasn't captured yet. So that's what's happening with that one. And then moving out with the Fusilier Link team. So they're all moving out around here. The game's going pretty badly at this point so having to take a bit of a risk, moving over to here with my missile launcher and having a shootout with his missile launcher because if I can achieve that, if I can actually win that face to face roll, 15's on 2 dice versus 13's on 2 dice, if I can win that and it's probable that I will then it gives me a play that I can make, I can actually move out with my whole link team and, and get some damage done. So luckily finally getting something done and the missile launcher does kill him. So, with a whole bunch more orders, I can now still keep marching down the street. So, marching down the street, um, trying to shoot Yojimbo with my Fusilier, because she's, like, up here. Um, so, she shoots through to Yojimbo. Yojimbo, of course, passes the dodge check with a smoke grenade and is fine, so can't even take him out, sadly. Um, so, continuing to move. Uh, luckily, the team is going down the street and avoiding the uh, zone of control of the Crazy Koala. That's what we're measuring for, and luckily they're out of range. So the plan here, as you can see, is to move my missile launcher to somewhere like this spot here where it can see, because it's a silhouette 2, over the red box and because that robot there is a, a silhouette 4, there's a little bit of base sticking out uh, above that little angle here and that will lob a missile which will also pick up his hacker and the missile, once it hits, should destroy his sensor bot and his hacker and that leaves him with actually like zero specialists at this point because his ninja's down um, I don't think any of the other Kaisotsus are specialists except the forward observer who's in the, in the wrong place so that would net me the win but what happens here and I, and I cannot believe it is that the missile launcher fires and blows up the sensor bot but the Kaisotsu dodging at minus three for not being uh, in line of sight rolls a critical dodge on a seven which um, really ruined me because it's given him a specialist which is in a great position for the next turn and um, he shoots back um, and kills my uh, Fusilier specialist because um, I left her as bait basically I wanted to be able to shoot the, the, the normal rolls with the, the missile launcher so I can't even have my single attempt on 12s at picking up my other beacon so that's not going to work because he just hit the Fusilier and killed it outright 
and he's now able to freely move around and, and take the um, take his own, own objective. So the, um, the fusilier is just setting up um, angles just to protect as many points as possible, setting up my little um, flash pulse bot to also um, defend this uh, objective which he's going for. And now the hacker can just move out around after smoke's placed down and just come around the side. So the hacker is somewhere like here. You can move around the side, the side of the building, come over to here and press the button after your Jimbo actually moves up. Your Jimbo, by the way, impetuous, runs into um, a, a, what do you call the suppression fire from the Hexa and dies, but Shinobu is right here, so she's able to put the smoke in the middle of the field to block off the line of fire to the objective. So um, that's basically the conclusion of the game. Uh, Yujimbo is able to, um, Yujimbo dies, Shinobu puts the smoke down, the hacker comes around the side, fails a couple of attempts, but eventually presses the button. So what that means is that um, we're left with a situation where I managed to pick up two quadrant points, he only got one, so I'm up by one. We only got uh, one objective each, so we're level on that, but he's got, um, he should have more army points because we both achieved our classifieds, by the way, earlier in the game. So um, seeing that he was uh, shy of one point to get a draw, um, the... Uh, what do you call this guy? Saito Togan comes out and actually shoots at the flash pulse bot and kills it. We actually, we actually did something which is not really tournament legal. We added up the points before the game ended and realized that he was like two points or one point lower than my total. So he comes out and kills one flash pulse bot for eight points and that seals the draw. I, I got a little bit salty about this game. Not that I should have. It was a fun game and, you know, it's not a big deal this game. But I felt a little bit salty because even though um, generally the luck in the rolls were average, the important rolls uh, didn't go my way. Um, the Swiss Guard making a Rambo run and punishing some bad deployments uh, got absolutely thwarted by a great smoke grenade by Yojimbo. And then uh, the Auxilia couldn't kill the Ninja in close range because he rolled just high enough to, to actually pass his check but also beat my face-to-face -face attacks. And then of course the Trauma Doc um, failing to revive the Swiss Guard HMG, that didn't work either. But who could forget that dodge from the hacker uh, saving his life? If he hadn't been able to do that, it would have been um, a clear victory. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was my last game with NCA, so it was a draw. Um, played quite a lot of games with NCA, I think about 10 games. And the very next video I'm posting on my channel will be the review. And I know you guys are looking forward to that one. I'll be posting all of my thoughts and a lot of detail about the faction as a whole. And we're going to have some fun with it. So I'll see you guys on that one.